President Biden has created a record 7.9 million jobs, more jobs created in the first 14 months of any presidency ever. But even as we're trying to get our economy and our lives back to normal, families are getting hit by rising prices on essential goods from gas to groceries. And as Americans are looking to get out and about again, to go back to restaurants and bars and gyms and movie theaters, those businesses are struggling to find enough workers to meet the surging demand. So now economists are warning that inflation could spread from goods to services, especially if we don't get more workers into the labor force. But one of the big things that's holding back the labor force participation is a shortage of affordable childcare. Secretary Becerra, when parents can't find affordable childcare, how does that affect parents' ability to work and in turn, businesses' ability to hire? It brings things to a halt. It grinds to a halt and you're stopping productive Americans from getting out there and helping businesses be profitable and prosper. It makes it very difficult for our economy to continue to be the leader when you can't get people who are qualified to get out there and work. Yeah, well, you know, you, you make a good point here. The American economy relies on working parents and they rely, those parents rely on childcare to be able to go to work. But even with record job creation across the economy last year, the childcare industry is still down 136,000 workers compared to early 2020. So, Secretary Becerra, there is clearly strong demand for childcare. Why isn't supply rising to meet it? Why hasn't the market solved this problem? Yeah. Well, with if it's left in the, in the private sector's hands, it becomes unaffordable for most families, including middle-class families, to afford. You're paying essentially college tuition to, to care for your two-year-old child. At the same time, states, with the support of the federal government, have been, been providing subsidies to help pro child care providers get out there and offer those services. Here's the difficulty. As you mentioned, some of the workforce is getting paid some of the lowest wages. We need to increase that because those folks are now seeing, I don't have to do this job. I can go make more money flipping burgers. Uh, we have to increase the wages that we pay to people who are essentially caring for the next generation of leaders. And at the same time, we have to be able to expand the size of the care facilities uh, so that they can take in more kids from these families. And so the proposal Build Back Better actually made some of that possible. I hope that we're able to succeed in getting some right. of that across. So let's just unpack that though a, a little bit in what you're talking about here. Child care providers are operating on razor thin margins. They just simply don't have the money to pay their workers more than those workers could make right now by just moving over to McDonald's or to the gas station down the street. That means the child care center can't hire staff, and that means their economy doesn't have the child care slots that it needs for uh, parents to be able to get back to work and our economy to get back to, to uh, normal. So let me just ask, I think you've already referred to this, but let me put the question to you directly. Do you agree that to fix this problem, federal investments in childcare are essential, not just for tackling higher costs for families with young children, but also for reducing the drivers that are raising costs economy-wide? With, without a doubt. Uh, just for the same reason we have public, uh, public education in this country, we realize that if we left it in, the, in private hands, very few parents would be able to afford to send their kids through K through 12. The same thing applies to uh, child care. We need to be supportive because there are caregivers who are trying to do the best job they can, but they're overwhelmed. In other words, whether we have children individually or not, we all have an interest in making this economy work and childcare is part of making this economy work. Is that fair? It, it, takes a, it takes a village. Well, thank you very much. You know, this is a critical moment in our economic recovery, and we need to make these investments in childcare in order to keep our economy on track and fight back against inflation. Investments in childcare will help lower costs for working families and will help boost our economic recovery by ensuring that parents can go to work, preventing a labor shortage and preventing further inflation. 
These investments just can't wait. American families can't wait. Our economy can't wait. So I hope we can get this done and get it done soon. Thank you very much for your work on this, Mr. Secretary.